the mobile home diva and in today's video we're going to be touring this cute little cab co home uh i don't know about the lighting you guys it's kind of dark out here but we're going to try to do the best we can uh there are no lights in the house but we'll try to do the best we can okay so i'm gonna do a quick i'm just gonna go to the back and show you the back and then i'm gonna come back and get this one really quick because there are a couple more that I want to get before I end the day. And it's close to 5 o'clock, so the lights are going down. This is the back of the home. Want you to see what it looks like. No need to walk all the way around because this one doesn't have the siding. But this is a cab coat, and I wanted to be sure to show you this cab coat home. Okay? So let's go in and take a look. I'll stop and get the serial number off the door so that you and I both will know exactly which home this is. So it's a three bedroom, two bath. All right, and I'm gonna leave the door open so we can see, because again, it is dark in this house. But this is, Capco makes a really, really pretty home. And I wanted to share this one with you. Hi family, I wanted to give a brief disclaimer before we got into the video. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. So, we're gonna turn around. This is your living room. You've got your three windows. You got three windows right there. I am so sorry for the lighting. You got three windows right there. All of this space right here is your living room. You've got a ceiling fan and all of this area. So you can really turn this the way you want to. Right, you've got your windows there. You can put your couch back to those windows. Have a huge TV on this wall. You can turn everything this way toward the front door and have a huge TV up there. You can do what you like. Okay? You can put uh, tables, like two sofa tables along that wall. Have your couch facing this way or have it facing on the short wall for the TV. It's really up to you. Here's your kitchen right here. It's kind of a galley way, galley through kitchen. It's not an open space. I, I re I'm really digging the way um, this kitchen is designed. You've got all of these shelves on this side. You've got your stove and built-in microwave. You've got all of these drawers and counters uh, you got drawers and cabinets on the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm, I feel kind of brushed. You have all of these cabinets on the top. You have uh, a little area here maybe for a desk. You got open shelving there. Loving all the cabinets, loving it. You got this big island in the middle, open space on this side. You can put maybe two bar stools over here love it and you've got open shelving on this side okay you got cabinets and drawers over here and then on this side you've got all of this pantry space pantry shelving two four six cabinets there you've got your sink trying to find the light you got your cabinets here. You got your sink, dishwasher. You got a window. You got your double refrigerator and cabinets up there. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm chasing the light, okay? Chasing the light, so very good. Your dining room area is over here. Huge space, you got a chandelier. It's uh, tied down for, uh, for transportation. So that's why it's leaning like that. They got it tied down. 
You got all of the space for lots of windows too. Three windows there, two windows there, and all of the space is your dining room area. All around this corner is your utility room. You've got a large sink here with two shelves there. Your washer and dryer will go on this wall. You've got shelving above it. All around this corner, you've got space for a mud room here. And then you've got or also a deep freezer or whatever you would like to put there. And then you got like a coat rack area right across from the door. So like this is your mud room, right? So you can even put a shelf here. You can sit down, take your coat off, hang it up here. You can put your boots up there, just whatever you like. Or you could put, since it's got the plug there, uh, like a little small deep freezer on the bottom and, and then store space up there. So very nice. Back door is there. Really pretty. Nice size utility room. I love it. Again, this is a cab co, you guys. See how they got it tied down? That's to ensure in transportation that this doesn't swing and nothing happens to it. Okay, pretty awesome. I know I'm going kind of fast in this house, but I'm chasing the light. So we're in the living room. To the right of the front door are your guest bedrooms. You have guest bedroom number one right here. We'll go take a look at the closet. Nice size guest bedroom. You've got a walk-in closet. In there, you've got the wood look wallpaper and the bedrooms have seams. Doesn't bother me, my home has seams throughout and I'm satisfied, I love my house. Just wanted to point that out though. It's drywall, finished drywall in the common areas and seams back here. All right, second guest bedroom is here, can't really see the whole thing because you have doors that haven't been installed. And then you got another walk-in closet here. Awesome, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see the bathroom, but we'll try to find the light. Okay, in this bathroom has got two rooms. You got your sink in here, and then in the second room, you've got a tub and shower, and you've got a toilet back there, okay? So that's your guest bedroom. If I have pictures online, I'll show you. And then back into the living room, that door to the left is the master. So let's go check out the master. To the right of the guest bedrooms, to the left is the master. So here's the master bedroom. Nice size master. Not bad at all. That's your master bedroom. And then in here is your master bath. You've got the double sinks and you've got cabinet cabinets in here. You got three cabinets. That is your shelving. You got your sink, two mirrors, three light bulbs go in that light fixture. So lots of light. You got your soaker tub and window and that window opens you've got a large i've seen a lot of homes today with these oversized showers so you've got this large shower with just glass no door and the sh and the uh, rain shower shower head so really pretty see the glass right there so you just need to step into the glass you don't have to uh, open a door or slide a door or anything you've got your toilet closet in there and then straight back is the master closet i love that it doesn't have the wire i it has a transom window and it has the fluorescent lighting in here and i love that this is not only the rods but also it's shelves so great use of space all right so you've got his and her side one person has long clothes the long uh their longer items on this side. One person has their longer items on this side, and then you share this middle. 
for shirts and bo for bottoms and tops. Plus, every rod has a counter. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Really nice use of space. Very good. I'm sorry I had to rush through you guys. This house is dark and I'm losing light outside. But this was just too pretty for me to, to not share with you. So very nice. This is a this is a cab co home. The model and everything will be in the description box. Um, the manufacturer and the dealer's information will be in the description box. And you can call them and inquire about price and how to find this home in, in your area, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.